let me just go to the uh let me go to the the stream and i'll show you so uh, i still have my voters tag up there sorry we're gonna pause this we'll bring back the uh voters command as soon as we actually go back to voting uh now it's off again what is going on hang on a second I let him mess, mess around over there a little bit. So, uh, yeah, it looks okay. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed on a couple of these different shows, and I'll, I'll start with the, um, I think I'll start with The Rising. Uh, this is the show that I was talking a little bit about earlier. And by the way, on YouTube, it is The Hill. Uh, the show is called Rising. It's really, really good. Um, Crystal and Tucker are amazing, uh, especially if you're a progressive person. <laughs> But if not, you can also see that that point of view. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. If you take a look at some of their uh, stuff, I might peek in here. There we go. Uh, if if you take a look at some of their stuff, it, just let's take a listen here. I'll turn this down. Weeks, months is going to determine the course for us, our society, for years and years. Now I don't want to get flagged uh, because of a copyright strike or anything like that, so I'm not going to play their whole show. But you could just take a look at this camera and, and you guys have been watching the show for a couple of years know that we can spot technology like that. Now, on second glance here, it actually looks like Crystal's mic might be a might be a Yeti Pro. I'm not actually sure what Sagers is. Is that Is that a Pro without the windscreen on it? But anyways, listen to the difference in sound. Let's just take a listen. Now, one thing we also listen to on this show is the sound of like echoing in a room. You can see I have some sound panels behind me that helps dampen the sound. Nothing will be better than getting a mic that sort of does it for you. Obviously, I have a Shure SM7B. That's the not the top of the line. Top of the line, there's there's good, better mics, but they cost thousands of dollars. This is the top of the line for a reasonably affordable mic around the five hundred dollar range. Um, there's other things like compressors, and I so I have an insert line that runs to a compressor where I um, where I do that sort of business and and have a uh, a noise gate on it. We come back. It looks like a snowball. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Oh wait, the blue snowball is like super round though. Is that like a new one? The guy on the right definitely has a Yeti Pro. All right, thank you, Dan. Um, yeah, I, so maybe it's crystals that I'm a little mistaken on. I thought that was Yeti, but with like a windscreen on top. Either way. Um, I come and I commented this on uh, Twitter saying this is like these are the best two that I've seen that are sort of like not podcast studio um, type broadcasters They have like their own show like the Pat McAfee show or like Joe Rogan or any of these other shows because um, obviously they have sure mics and all the big setup and they put audio engineers and all that kind of stuff but these guys look like they actually were like hey i'd like to get some quality and they went out to wherever and got their microphones so good job to them um but listen to the difference in sounding in crystal sound and listen for the echo like the hollow sound of, of her room in the same way look part of why we have donald trump as president is because of the horrendous way can you guys hear that you're almost a tiny echo coming back in there. And I, I um, uh, so I put out that tweet and uh, um, Sager responded to me basically um, saying that he was uh, having some issues. And I, I was talking to him a little bit on DM. Um, but I said to him, I said, I think Crystal may be what looks like in like a smaller room, like almost like a it almost looks like a pantry or something. You know what I mean? Just the background of the room that she's in. And I think that's causing some issues in terms of echoing when you have those close, flat walls. You have that that sound bounce off of everywhere and back into the microphone. And all that. If you don't have the right noise gates and all that kind of stuff, it can add to that sort of hollow tin sound that you hear, which is what I picked up on on her microphone. That the financial crap collapse occurred. It's part of what. Again, she doesn't sound bad. She sounds better than probably ninety percent of the guests that call into these political shows right now because everyone's working from home. Um, Why we ended up with this populist surge and the movement okay she's Trump in like a side Bernie office so it looks like this is like a den or something or so but you can see the room i bet she's talking into the wall and there's a wall on her right so i think you're getting a uh, a 
a bang off the walls and in her room. I think that if she had a studio that was covered in, or not covered in, you don't need to do what I've done here, but has some sound panels around and things like that, you get a you get a less you get a dampened sound, a little more isolated sound, not like an anechoic chamber or anything like that, but but something a little more focused into the microphone. Have. I also mentioned uh, that it's possible, you know, Yetis, you guys have Yetis, uh, that there's three or maybe four settings. I think there's a stereo, there's con- uh, there's a cardioid, there's a, a couple other ones I can't remember. But the, you guys know that if you're streaming, you want it to be on cardioid because it's just one person talking in the mic. It's one direction. It's not picking up stuff from behind. Um, there's other settings on there that can give you that bounce around sound. I wonder if maybe Crystal. Like, it doesn't have her set in the right setting. I think these guys are both very, very smart, so they probably looked into it, or they have people that have looked into it for them. But I would just double-check on that. Omnidirectional, thank you. That's the other one I was thinking of. But, yeah, that could be a that could be a culprit in trying to determine why you hear this sort of little echo, a little um, hollow type of sound in her voice. That is all out of the 2008 financial collapse, and I think this is... Again, I don't want to get copyright strike for playing their their stuff. But take a look at this. I, I do like, I think they do a little screen transition here. Crowds are obviously anxious to get him out of the race. They don't want him there. Yeah. They find- the one thing I don't know, which I plan on asking, is if this is live or if this is a post-edit screen transition that they have here. If this is a live transition, this is really great. I like it. <laughs> Something tells me this is recorded and then they have an engineer that goes through and, and takes care of that form from the hill or, you know, or someone like that. But... um. It it would be cool if that was live. I like that. Find him a distraction. They want to just go ahead and like if someone was controlling it on a stream deck or something. And every day that he stays in the now, let me fast forward to uh, his voice. I thought this is roughly split between the two of them. Oh, there he goes at the end. Let me. uh, Oh, okay. Here we go. So let's take a uh, look at his background, and we'll take a listen to his voice. Okay. And uh, notice that in the background, there's a, there's a couple more things. Uh, crystals had a lot more bare walls. You know what I mean? Not a lot up on the wall. A man here has got some books, bookshelves, got a flag on the wall. I don't know what he's talking into, but I would bet it's another wall with some stuff behind it maybe. And it looks like there's an exit off to the right or a window there. But it looks like a study or something. But listen to the difference. Popular sentiment that we're seeing rise on the right in terms of the policy conversation. And something that I think we covered yesterday, I think Adolph Reed Jr. was the one who brought this up, is that there has been a lot of like cause. His voice sounds way more focused into the microphone. Playing, organizing, cause playing revolution. It looks like cause the microphone might be a little bit close to his face. It could be probably no centered and out just a little bit because it's in the right direction. You know, a lot of people use those Yetis and point them right at their mouths like this one. This is a shotgun mic. But his audio to me sounds a lot better. There was ever a time to fulfill the ideals of what he is all about, what he's fought for, he says for... So, oh, there's that transition career. again. I really like that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, what I, that, that's why I started to think like, I wonder if they got the same mics or if their team got them like two boxes. Just said, here, you get one, you get one. And he set his to cardioid and she maybe set hers to omnidirectional. I wonder if that's what happened. That would be interesting if it was. But I think his voice sounds a lot more crisp uh, than hers. Then it's right now because, you know, arguably how we handle this crisis so this is also interesting uh the other thing i sent uh him in the in a dm was um you know or maybe i said it on twitter was why don't these guys have like um you know mirrorless cameras that are that are just taking a live feed like the one you see here or uh you know like foam panels on the walls or some kind of noise dampener you could get a mixer that could play with the levels of your voice, obviously, like you hear right here. I have a large mixer right in front of me, the Pro FX12. Um, all, all this kind of gear that you could do. And I understand the easy answer is probably, um, well, I don't work from home. These guys don't stream from home all the time. They have a studio and all that stuff. Um, and same thing with uh, co- Congress people like AOC. Um, and we're going to take a look at her talking in just a moment, by the way. And, and Omar, too. Uh, and all uh, you know, all these other guys. The, uh, it's, I understand you don't work from home. You don't have a studio at home, but man, if you were sick or there's a quarantine or you need to be remote one day, how excellent would it be to just have your own studio 
we could pop on your lighting. Look at this. I don't have studio lights in this. I don't have a $2,000 setup. These lights cost me $150 for two. These are great lights. You could get these easy. They clamp right to your desk. You're done with it. One button. Click. Done. This is a remote. So it does my lights. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, studio type effects stuff that you can add. And especially, uh, you know, for someone like Bernie Sanders uh, or uh, or AOC or something like that, just have something ready. It doesn't mean you need to go home and be podcast streaming every single day. Although I'm sure uh, someone like a young uh, congressperson, maybe the Justice Democrats or whoever, or any or even these guys who are political analysts and things that, um, you know, maybe at night they want to do like their own website has a, just a blog where they where they talk about their own cut of, uh, you know, maybe they can sit back and have like a, you know, uh, you know, crystals on or something, you know, uh, a, a nightcap with crystal ball or something like that. That's that's actually her name. That's not me <laughs> making something up. But like, uh, you know, where she just she spends all day looking at political stuff. So does he. So does, a, you know, all this. Stuff. They just did like a nightly like, hey, I'm just going to shout out, you know, so we're just going to talk with some of my viewers or just just get my podcast or, vi or vidcast out there, my VOD and, and just chat about what happened during the day. Maybe I'll bring these up on tomorrow's show. Uh, something like that and just chat but you could have this set up ready at home just firing it up at a moment's notice and you're ready to go you don't have to do anything just click stream doom done obviously the more complex stuff you have like the, some of the stuff in this studio it's going to take a little more time than just click and you're on <laughs> you know you put a little effort into it i think uh that's what i was saying like you could spend a thousand dollars and really spruce up this feed get a couple of different lights get two different uh lighting aspects here obviously he's got a lamp on his left I don't think it's um, it's definitely not an 8,000 uh, K uh, uh, brightness. That's probably like a 5,000 K. So it adds a little soft light uh, uh, to him. It's not a bad look, but it's a little bit of soft light. And you can see in the reflection of his glasses, he's got one light source. It'd be nice to have two. You can get a little backfill there, light up the whole room, light up some of these bookshelves in the background. You can see the light, shell, uh, the light on the right side of this screen right over here. Um, you can see the light reflection here. You got nothing over here. This is a little natural light here, which I like the natural light look too. But the lamp is obviously like a, a like a warm. Uh, what's it called? Uh, is it called warm white? Something like that. Uh, soft white. That's what I'm thinking of. Where it's like almost a little yellowy tint. Uh, that's a little bit what it looks like to me. But, uh, yeah, I think there's a couple of really easy things. So that's why I actually inspired my tweet to say, like, if some of these people, um, these political analysts, talk show hosts, uh, Congress people that are realizing, like, oh, crap, like, I'm going to be working from home for a little while. I should probably take a look at some of my setup. Um, you know, who better to contact than, like, a live streamer, right? Like, someone who does it all day or, or someone who is, you know, an enthusiast of it or a tech person to say, like, hey. You take a look at my show. Tell me what you know what I could do about it, and I'm sure they'd be happy to help. I mean, the the streaming community is very uh, welcome with sharing knowledge to other streamers. Uh, let alone someone that's trying to. I mean, like these guys trying to help the country, trying to get information out. These guys should be the first people we're helping. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, so that was the point of the tweet. Was you know thousand dollars investment, you could really make this look great. Soon politicians will have at home studios for fireside chats of constituents. Exactly. Exactly, man. That's exactly right, Dan. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could easily bring in, uh, like Bernie does, and like we're going to see in a minute, and like these guys are doing here. They're obviously in two different areas. They're remoting into each other via Skype, or it could be Discord or Google Hangouts or whatever it is. The way I've done my talk shows in the past, you guys have seen those. I did a lot of talk shows when I was on Twitch. We'd have someone come in. I bring in their video on Discord. I bring in my video. We we over we. Uh, I would inlay them into a certain background that has it up. I'd have my questions. If you watch The Rising on YouTube, by the way, look up The Rising. You see these guys show. It's fantastic. Uh, you know, maybe make sure to check them out. But um, you can see their screen transition, like that kind of stuff, that side by side. Um, if you watch them on The Rising in the studio, they have that list, that overlay of here's my talking points and here's my talking points. And they go through these different things. I've done the same thing on my uh my stream in the past and i use it with a stream deck i hit the buttons myself it takes a, it's a hundred bucks you could have a really professional looking thing especially with a you know with like a god i hate the word clout <laughs> you know what i mean but the the reputation that these guys bring for for bringing uh you know truth and and, and trying to inform people about different things 
And I'm not just saying that about these guys. If you're a supporter of Donald Trump, I'm sure he has his people. I'm not too familiar with that side of things. But his people that do the same type of thing, they really bring out truth and they try and inform their their viewers of stuff that's happening. I'm not talking about guys that come out there and, and just spin and spew garbage. Because the left has those people too, by the way. CNN. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but Joe Biden, the same thing. Uh, you know, they, they have these people that are trying to, to to bring the truth across. And I think a little investment here would really go a long way. Um, let's take a look at another video. And this is at what actually inspired the tweet. So Bernie Sanders has been doing a live stream from home. And I can't wait to show you tonight's man. I, I turned on just his quick stream tonight to take a look and see like, okay, I need some talking points for my show later. <laughs> Wait till I show you this. I'm, I'm so freaking happy right now, man. Um, so this is Bernie Sanders. He's doing his uh, telecast. I believe he's in, yeah, live from Burlington, Vermont. I believe this is his home or a studio that they have set up for him to do these live chats in. Um, oh, I should bring up Biden's as well, although it's kind of a nightmare. Let me uh, let me get that going on the side. But um, so Bernie's been doing fireside chats and all type of things on his uh on his uh, website, his YouTube channel, his Twitch channel, all this kind of stuff. Uh, let me show you. Oh, it's so funny. The one I want to click on is Crystal and Sager's um, uh, review of Biden's uh, mid-speech disaster. We but I'll, I'll show you what I mean uh, in terms of uh, a quality of a home studio. So this is Bernie Sanders talking from his uh, home studio. I'll let Crystal and Sager talk here for a minute. Um, so let's take a listen. This is what presidential candidate Bernie Sanders sounds like as of a week ago, by the way. We'll look again in a moment, but this is what it sounds like. They can to make sure that our kids continue to get the education they need. When we're seeing the best in human nature, millions of people doing the right thing in this crisis, we will not accept profiteering and greed and corporations and individuals trying to rip off people in the midst of this crisis. Not acceptable. Now, uh, by the way, I'm not trying to point out his message, uh, blah, 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 message, although I do agree with his message, and I think he's a fantastic person and should be president. Um, but you could tell that his his audio sounds pretty good. If you And I don't think Trump can do the right thing on this, but Congress... If you remember, uh, Crystal's audio sounded a little echoey. Sagar sounded a little less echoey, but you can tell their sound here. Bernie sounds like he might be a little bit too far away from a microphone. I don't know if they have like a boom mic. I think I don't see something sitting in front of him. I don't see a Lavalier or whatever it's called, a lapel mic. I think they're called Lavalier mics. And maybe it's Lavalier and I'm being too French with it. That's the right thing. Yeah, it's and usually on his lapel. I don't see it. And clear uh, on that. Um, so let me just uh, conclude. It sounds like the mic, so you can hear the papers there. Let's take, a, let's take another listen real quick. Sorry, I'm being too geeky and technical with you guys, but I, it's just, it's a really, it's a hobby of mine. In this crisis, we Listen will the papers. not accept profiteering and greed and call about here. Uh, from Michigan. I think that's the order. It may be changed, but that's what I would like to do. So let's now hear from grandson for a few minutes. And oh, hang we'll on be, a second. And I don't think Trump can do the right thing on uh, for being with us. And what we're going to... You hear those papers and they start to rustle. They sound closer to the mic than he is. So I'm betting he's sitting at a desk and they got a mic like this pointing at his face. But he's like, they probably have the gain turned up a little bit because... I'm going to do right now uh, because um, I think it's a good thing to do. But because of uh, the technological uh, limitations we're under here, we're going to... Okay, so a little bit you can hear in the background a white noise, like a static. I think they have the gain turned up a lot because he's a little bit further away from the mic. The people on his team definitely know what they're doing. Take a look at his camera now. What do you see? You see a depth of field, right? You see the background flags are a little... Uh, oh, we just dropped uh, 343 frames. Sorry about that if it skipped for a minute. Um, but the flags in the background are, are obviously a little blurred out compared to his... Um, his clarity. If we skip back a little bit, we can see he's going to go into a music uh, rendition here. I worry very much. And that's high quality. What is this at 1440? Oh, it's only 720. Why are they streaming such or uploading in such low quality? These guys got to get on it, man. The, see, the problem is they're probably streaming one main platform, whether it's Periscope or Twitch, and then they're taking the VOD and then pushing that to other platforms like YouTube. 
uh, streaming at 720. And by the way, I did see the restrictions today. If you didn't see, YouTube is defaulting all viewers to a lower, a standard definition um, quality by default because there's so many people using YouTube now. Uh, but they said that they will keep 4K and 2K. You just have to select it yourself. So if you go to somewhere and see, ah, this looks crappy, make sure you check the uh, quality settings and put yourself to the right quality that you'd like to see. Um, just to make sure we're not coming in at like, you know, 140 or something. Let me that we have a prison system in, yeah. in this country, state prisons, which are already disasters. Yeah, you can hear a little background noise. I think the gain on Bernie's uh, stream has turned up a little too high, but this is a lot better than some of the other ones I've seen. We're going to take a look at Joe Biden here, too, just to be fair. I'm not a fan of Joe Biden, but we're going to take a look. Um, but the depth of field that I was talking about is he's obviously using, like, I would bet is a mirrorless camera or he's using a Brio, something like this. This is my webcam camera for work, by the way. I don't use the big boy for work. Uh, but uh, something like that where you can probably set in a false um, a, a, a false blur in the background depending on, on what you want to do. Harris Heller has a lot of videos on how to do that, by the way. Harris Heller on YouTube. You can check that out. Um, but uh, more than likely, they have a certain camera lens that has a depth of field of like three, and so you see the blurring in the background. You can see the same thing here a little bit, although I have my... Um, just have Bernie do the stream from your stream room. Dude, oh my God, what a fucking honor that would be. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, the greatest honor of my life would be helping Bernie in any way with his uh, audio or visual or video stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you can see this. Uh, there's, there's small improvements that you can make to really show uh, a high quality for almost no money. I mean, it, it, take a look at, w at what he could improve on here. He could have the mic a little closer. It, it's not unbecoming to have a mic in the screen, right? I don't know why politicians a lot of time like to have a tiny mic, something like that. Joe Rogan, if you watch a Joe Rogan show, his mic's like this. The whole time. Just right in his face. <laughs> you, don't, you don't care. Uh, but the quality is what people care about. So you get the clarity of words and, you, you know, you can have... Uh, you know, more inflection, more range, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's worth it. It's worth the investment. I think they probably just need to throw a mic on Bernie's um, desktop there. Just get a sure mic, put it on the um, put it on the desk. Um, or a stand like this. Easy enough, right? Uh, the other thing I noticed in his stream right away is the lighting. So you can see the lighting is obviously coming from one direction. This is what I was talking about a little bit with Sagar's stream was he had a desk lamp is what I'm betting. I don't know his room, but a desk lamp sitting up where he just hits the desk lamp and it, it, so the light was coming in from this side, or if the camera's flipped, it was coming in from this side, obviously. So it looked like one side of his face was a little bit lit up there, so you could tell one of the bookshelves was lit up. Uh, here, it's a little tougher to tell. You can see a little shadow over here. That's because that's just the edge of my room, right? That's not, I don't have lighting throughout the entire room. But the stuff relatively sort of behind me is lit up by this light and this light. You have one focus light on your face and one fill light for the background. Adds a nice effect. You can also do green screen stuff with it when you have that type of thing. Especially for political analysts, green screen would be very handy. You can get some that roll right up, go right down. Elgato green screen, um, throw it behind you. You can put yourself on the Senate floor, put yourself sitting on top of, uh, I don't know, the Lincoln Memorial sitting on top of Lincoln's lap if you want while you're streaming or while you're uh, live broadcasting. Um, but uh, the fill light will be necessary for that as well as the face light. You can have I could have six more lights in here if I wanted. But you can tell that in Bernie's thing, I think they have uh, looks like a studio lighting with a with a hood on it, like a lamp, uh, a photography lamp. But they don't have one over to what I believe is his right over on this side of the screen. You can see with the way the shadows are moving right here. You can see the edge of the shadow on the flag. You can see this side of his face is a little more lit up. This side, a little bit dark, right? You don't see, if there was a lamp on this side, you wouldn't see this right here. If you can see where my mouse is, you wouldn't see this shadow right on the edge here. You wouldn't see that. That's why we need to have two lights, fill lights. Um, I can send you a link to lamp shade, uh, to, to photography quality. I don't like to see my frames dropping. Spectrum better get their stuff together. We're not having this. We'll keep pushing through. Um, but it would be an easy investment. You can get a set of two different big lamps. I had some. I gave them away. I still have two in my basement over here. Two big lamps. Set them one here, one here. Boom. You're set. Your whole background is lit up. It's like it's daytime. Like you're broadcasting outside. 
uh, a great investment, $60 for two lamps. Get it cheap. You could do $1,000 completely overhaul all these streams. I will say one really nice thing about Bernie's uh, live stream is that his graphics are really on point. Simple, good information. Let's take a look at that real quick. I'm going to turn down the volume just so I don't get blasted on the community guidelines. Let me see if I can get that bottom uh, scroll bar to go away. You can see the bottom. Visit BernieSanders.com. Donate to groups fighting in the coronavirus pandemic. That scrolls like it's ESPN or any other ticker. Same thing. It's it's common. But watch up here in the top right with the Bernie stream that burned. Look at that. It comes up. Not me. Us. It'll fall. You can see it scrolls up, fade away, scroll back in. You know, whatever the next hashtag is. I don't remember. But that's a really great, simple if, uh, like uh it's like uh what, what's the word it's like a high quality improvement on the stream that probably cost five dollars and took whoever set it up probably six minutes nothing you could you could splice in any information but you could change it every day you got a new hashtag uh, uh, what's it uh thursday motivation or whatever <laughs> thirsty thursdays or whatever uh but you could have any of this stuff for, for for, for almost no effort, and it does immensely to help the quality of your stream. Um, so let, let's move forward here. I want to bring in AOC. Okay, now it looks like they... Oh, I guess I didn't catch this part where they were really trying to set it up. Oh, yeah, so they accidentally showed the Skype screen is what that was. I think this is a Skype screen. Can I get it back and pause it? The guys need to work on a little bit of the transition for the team, but wait. Okay. Yeah. So this is obviously a little behind the scenes technical stuff. Hope I'm not like showing anything that she's embarrassed about. Okay. Yeah. So they're just in, is this Skype? Is this like live meeting or something? I'm not totally sure what this is. Might be a Skype. Um, but obviously, AOC is just waiting here. Bernie's getting direction. They're they're basically trying to cut back and forth between their musical guest. Who they, so what they're doing is Bernie gives a talk, then they go to a musical guest, and during that time they set up the next piece. Where, for example, the congresswoman comes in and uh, 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 talks for a little bit, but she gets on the the horn with Bernie. They might talk in the background, then they'll come back to the stream, and then it'll be just her talking, well, or her and Bernie. Um, so. And by the way, you can tell what we're going to talk about just by looking at her picture, right? We're going to, we're going to talk about that bare background. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, yeah, th this is the type of screen that should never be shown. It's not a big, I mean, people don't really care except for live streamers. Broadcasters on YouTube and Twitch will look at this and go, oh God, that's a big mistake. How could they do that? But the average person who's watching this doesn't really care. I mean, oh, it's AOC and Bernie, you know, trying to set stuff up. But um yeah, this it's a little bit of an extra challenge too because I think the musical guest is remote, so they're trying to bring in live remote feeds back and forth. But there should be obviously a transition intermission screen that just holds, and then a preview screen where you just wait until you're ready, have uh, AOC ready to go on this screen, then transition once she's ready. Um, this might be just a, a team issue or a timing issue, but you can see they go to black at some point and then switch to the stay tuned. Because now she's going to be up. I mean, this, is, this is the screen it should have been sitting on waiting. <laughs> they just cut a little bit early, I think. Or someone got a little trigger happy with it. Uh, oh, they both come in here. Okay. See? Okay. This is, man, this, this bothers me. <laughs> okay. I know I'm being hypercritical. But you guys saw Sauger and Crystal just a little minute ago. You remember You remember their thing? Did I, do I solve that up? Did I put that down? Look. Look at the difference. They're both on. There's a nice graphic over top. Now, granted, this may not be live. I don't know for sure if they did this live. They may have recorded this and then added the transitions afterwards. But this is a great looking simple technique to bring in a guest here. Okay. Very simple. Efficient gets, you know, gets the point across. You have two different sides of the, you know, two different guests or, or hosts. Um, this is very sort of bare bones background stuff here, in my opinion. Like, they could really spruce this up. Get one on one side, one on the other. Have them inlaid in boxes. Uh, we used to do the same thing on... We used to do this on my show. Uh, when I was on Twitch, I'd have the guests in. They have their own box. They got their nameplate there. They got... Like, it doesn't even tell me who AOC is here. It, if I came into this show not knowing either of these people, wanted to be introduced to them, how would I get that? Mitch McConnell and 
the Republican there's no nameplate for her. guys was just I love Bernie. <laughs> I love his team and I want Bernie to win more than anything. But we need to get some some higher quality stuff on here. Get some nameplates up here. Not necessarily if you're a consistent host like Crystal and Sager. They're on the show every single day. So if you're going to their show, you know who they are. But especially they brought in Ryan Grimm today from The Intercept. And uh, he didn't have a nameplate. And I feel like if I was just jumping around YouTube or if I happened in at the right time, there should be just a small nameplate there to to disclaim sort of who he is, I think. Maybe a website there if they're trying to promote something. I don't know. All right, let's take a look. I think eventually they cut to just uh, AOC. Yeah, let's see this transition here. Who are these grandfather and granddaughter duo? It does kind of look like that, right? Bernie and his granddaughter AOC. That'd be so awesome. Everybody, um, immediately. But the second thing we need I want, to do I just want to see the transition. That's why I'm playing. Out. Actually, I'll turn this off so I don't get copyright striked. But I like Bernie's sort of posture here. He's interested. He's listening. He's focused. He's not looking around, playing with papers while his guest is talking. This is exactly what I used to do on my show. I don't take questions from the live audience during the show. I'm focused on the guest. That's a good host right there, Bernie Sanders. Man, it's like that guy should be president or something. We're going to we're going to talk about AOC's setup here in just a second. There it goes. So let me Oh, did she see herself go live and then start messing with her hair? Um but watch how sudden that transition was. Watch. Also that banner cuts half of her camera feed out. A lot of dead space up top. This should reformulate this setup for sure. Hopefully they did in the new one. With uh, I forget who's on tonight. Someone's on with him tonight. Hopefully they reformulated this screen because this could definitely be better. See how sudden that was? Just like click and it's over. Now watch again Crystal and Sagar. And by the way, I, I I don't necessarily think Crystal and Sagar have the, have the best. Uh, and I'm not saying I know any other political analyst type shows that have a better uh, overlay. But watch how good their transition is. And by the way, I was just talking about overlays. Look at this. They got this. They know. I just don't know if this is added post time or not. Um, but let's take a look at their transition one more time. It's right here. Rise on the right in terms oh, of the pop. I don't want the uh, audio right now. We're already listening to it. Look at that. Look at that transition. I Again, I don't know if that's post, but if that's live, that's a slick transition compared to this other one. Bernie's team needs to step it up on their uh, post editing. Um, okay, let's talk about AOC. She is fantastic. I love her. Have, um, talk about the I audio have first. Jacoby Medical Center. We have New York Presbyterian nearby. Uh, we have Montefiore Hospital. And these are hospitals. Why you got to break everyone's heart, Alexandria? Uh, I, again, I mean, I don't like to keep bringing up uh, Crystal and Sager, but um, man, that is uh, their audio quality is way better than uh, AOC's. Now, granted, she might be on a move or calling from a hotel or something, but I'm assuming this is like an office of hers or someplace like that where she can dial into one of these things. But I, I assume she's going to be on with Bernie as a special guest in live roundtable. She's going to want to be set up in a place where she's comfortable, ready to give the talk or whatever. This could be in an apartment or her house or something. But like, we gotta have a better setup than this. She's uh, very, very obviously streaming from a webcam that's attached to the top of a laptop or the built-in cam on a laptop, which is probably worse quality. Um, the lamp is probably a ring light. I can't really see her eyes at this low resolution. Let me see a second. You can always tell if it's a ring light from looking in someone's eyes. Hospitals that serve yeah, you can see it. people. See it? They serve immigrant populations. You could tell the <laughs> it's so nitpicky, but again, this is like my I, I this is my hobby. This is my class population. You can see it right here. Look, see this like circle. So, so someone bought her a ring light, which is great. Ring lights are awesome. So many streamers use them; they're fantastic for lighting. Um, I do like the the fill light situation, and her background does look good. So it's bringing quite a bit of light in here, and it looks good on her, but. The camera is not helping her at all. The camera is so low definition. It's got to be 
either a C920 or something built into a laptop. I got a couple over here, but they're, you know, they're not high quality. It's, it's a laptop camera. They don't care what's in it. They just want you to be on a, a video chat with your boss or something. Um, so she, this is another case where her team could run out, buy one of these tonight. Logitech Brio. And this is not a sponsored comment, by the way. Although I do like that Logitech camera in particular. Uh, Logitech Brio is a 4K camera for like $100 or $200. I think it's actually like $150. I see it drop in a couple of frames, by the way. I'm at 1.9% dropped. I don't like it. Um, but uh, she, they could, her team could run out to Best Buy right now, grab that camera, install it. It takes two seconds, plug it in the USB, boom, done. If you don't want to go mirrorless route. Now, what she should probably have, because she, you know, she's representing the younger new wave, the Justice Democrats, the 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 new progressive Democrats that are coming in, like, hey, you know, younger people can actually do this. So follow my footsteps, that type of person. Um, she needs to be real in tune with the technology today. Like she could like seriously, and I I I think that the guys on the rising mentioned it today. You could get uh, they did. Because they were talking about Joe Biden and saying how someone could just bring up their iPhone camera and stream from that and get a higher quality than this camera or Joe Biden's camera or better lighting. And all, although AOC has great lighting, um, but uh, it, it's a small investment that makes this huge difference, huge difference. And it's not a complex setup. The Logitech Brio, $150. You plug it into your computer USB port. The end. Even something like a mirrorless DSLR. Right now I'm using a Sony A6300. It's plugged into a uh, Elgato cam link, and I have quite a complex setup for the for the motion track of it. But other than that, it's pretty simple. The camera itself is a little bit expensive. The cam link is a little, I mean, it's a little bit expensive. It's a, it's a piece you have to use, it's $175. Um, but uh, give me one second. about that <clears throat> okay so ah oh, we're still dropping frames what the hell all right get back up there come on stop messing with my internet um uh, so anyways you can buy the logitech brio from best buy for 150 dollars plug it into your usb port you get the mirrorless camera get an elgato cam link for about a thousand dollars and you're super set in terms of quality all you need then is the proper lighting and you're set um but th this is what i was saying at the beginning of the show like these politicians and political analysts can spend a couple of thousand dollars um, or or even have their, you know, have it, uh, it could be a tax write-off. It's for their business. It's what they do for work. Easily a tax write-off. Um, but it would increase the professionalism and the quality of some of these shows and some of these live feeds in an incredible way. Again, this is not uh, with, you know... Um, not ignoring the fact that bad internet is bad <laughs> right and, and sometimes you need to do remote streams like this like maybe alexandria is like off you know someplace in another state she's calling in from hotel room or something that could be and then uh, some of this criticism is unfair but hopefully your home studio or something like that or some of these guys on uh from the rising you know have a home studio that can set this stuff up and really have a home base that's almost as good as a studio for not much money um the audio quality of AOC is just so bad. It's it's sad. And basically what coronavirus has done is taken as. Now, that's 100 uh, percent. Either someone went down and bought her a blue snowball uh, microphone from Best Buy for like 40 bucks or um, she's talking into her laptop microphone. Either way. Come on now, girl. <laughs> Come on. now. Oh, man. Uh, she's freaking amazing, but it's like the guys from the rising, a blue Yeti costs, 
I think you can get the Blue Yeti Pro box from any Best Buy in the world, although that store might be closed right now. Um, but you can order it on Amazon or BestBuy.com. I'm sure we'll ship it to you. Um, you can get the box that is like plug and play, ready to go. Get home, put it on a stand, plug it in your computer. Boom, done. 1,000% audio upgrade in a matter of five minutes. Just needs a little bit of effort and all that stuff. And again, I'm not saying these people do this all the time. So don't necessarily like, oh, well, I work in Congress, so I don't need to be streaming from home. But in a time like the coronavirus scandal or um, when Congress goes on break or or whatever it might be, like, wouldn't it be nice to have this stuff at home? To be able to call into these these shows where your image is out there, right? Um, you know, your, your, um, your brand is being broadcast to the world and you're, you know, influencing other people. Don't you want to put your best foot forward and have the best quality, best everything ready to go, especially if this is your job? I mean, essentially some of these analysts and AOC and these politicians and Bernie, a lot of their job is... Pro- what the heck just happened to my life? A lot of their job is protecting their uh, their image, their brand, right? I'm sorry, my camera just my light just went to like some kind of weird reduced uh, uh, brightness and went to like a 500 or 5,000 K. That was weird. Uh, okay, I still see I'm dropping frames. I'm very very displeased about it. Sorry for any breaks this is causing. Uh, again, this is look at this. This is a problem. Internet's not great. I'm dropping frames. I'm also streaming in 1440p. I'm streaming in 2K right now on YouTube. And I'm no one from the middle of Ohio. These grand politicians that maybe one day will be president can do better than I can. <laughs> I guarantee it. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's move on. But please, God, someone get AOC a, a microphone. Please, Jesus. Someone, her handler, just carry it with her. Let's see Omar's. I think she had this, about the same result. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to have this conversation today. Um, it's really important. Same thing. Think- uh, they might be using the same style laptop. It might be like a Congress a congressional laptop they hand out or something like that. But uh, that's obviously a microphone from uh, the laptop. It's obviously a webcam that's built into the laptop. That's why you see a little like processing, a little at, jumpiness. You know, how it's not we as smooth. Got here and what makes our, yeah. our country in this particular time. That might also might be an internet connection issue. You see the lighting right over her head. Again, this might be in someone's apartment. This could be in a hotel. This could be in a lobby someplace. Could be her home. And she's just doing it off to the side. Get yourself a nice setup at home. $1,000. That Hire someone like me. Someone like... One of the big live shows, someone like Harris Heller. So one of these tech guys, a bro man. Uh, shoot, you can get Lupo. You know, I'm sure they love to help. Um, have them come out. Take a look at your space. Look at the lighting. Say, hey, how can I set this up? I'd like to live stream from home sometimes. Boom, boom, couple of lights. You can order it. You know, oh my God, why are we down to 28 frames? You know, a couple thousand dollars, you would have the best setup uh, of guaranteed any politician or any political analyst. Guaranteed. I know I've gone from like a couple hundred to a couple thousand, but if we're talking if you're going to go into like really mega inequality, why not just go all the way? But you can also get by a huge upgrade to this would be to this stream in particular, to Omar's stream. You could you could definitely get a um, you could definitely get an upgrade to her show right now for five hundred dollars easily. Let's fast forward a little bit to. Um, There you go, Rashida. So uh, Rashida here, and I, I like I love first stream because it starts out how uh, how every single person this week telecon started out. If you work from home, you know exactly what I'm talking about. How does her stream start out? She's working from home. I thought. Uh, hang on a second. I think it was that right at the beginning because I think I was watching during this time. Let me just take a look here. My man Bernie's back on. Let's see what he has to say real quick. And then we'll go right to Rashida. Okay. I'm yeah. Hi. Yay, we can Hi, hear Bernie. Now. Look at her son is sitting right next to her going, okay, they can hear now. Oh, my son wants to say hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm homeschooling, Bernie. I'm Watch. homeschooling. 
Um, no, so everybody quiet, please. I'm on the thing. Okay. I love that. <laughs> it's like mom comes out, you know what I mean? Like she's being the uh, gracious guest and all this stuff. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> quiet, please. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, but th this is actually the scene in every single telecon this week. I I've been on like seven telecons so far. It's Tuesday. Um, but every single one of them, you can hear kids in the background, you hear dogs and stuff because everyone's working from home trying to get their situation set. But uh, here's the same thing. Like she's she is obviously streaming from a laptop on a desk in her office or family room here. Um, quite obviously, la uh, webcam in the laptop, microphone in the laptop. So I'm really glad that we're no doing great lighting. I think it's really it's just overhead lighting. You can see the shadow on her face from her hat. Important that folks need to know and, and have a human face. And by the way, that's not taking away anything from the the information that these three ladies have given out on this show. Not taking away anything from Bernie. I fully support uh, Bernie Sanders and these three uh, women in Congress uh, fully. That's my beliefs and my stances on issues and policies and stuff. They will always get my vote. Um, but uh, it's also okay to critique the technical ability and the technical... Um, quality of these state leaders, these uh, leaders of citizens of the United States, and even the political analysts, who, by the way, the rising guys have a, a plus 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 compared to these, even Bernie, compared to these four uh, examples we've seen here. Way better over here on these guys, on these guys' behalf. Although you could also say that these two, and I, I keep saying I'm motioning with my hand because they're also on this screen. Um, that uh, they're on TV all the time. They're political analysts, so maybe they're more in tune with what looks good and what needs, you know, that they have a more of a sense of uh, protecting their brand and their image and stuff like that. It could be. It could be a difference there. But, uh, and, and maybe these guys are just too buried in, like, laws and books and, like, you know, getting the work done and that, that kind of stuff uh, to really care. But these guys got to have audio, visual uh, handlers, campaign managers, uh, maybe even, like, PR people. I don't know the specifics of being a congressperson, but I assume they have like a, pre, a, a public relations manager or an, a, even an assistant or something like that. They could look at it and say, hey, this is not great quality. I, I saw this guy, Moscrates, on YouTube that has really great quality. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you, you know, they could take a look at one stream on Twitch because Bernie Sanders streams on Twitch. He streams on YouTube. He streams on Periscope. Just take a look at any other channel. Right. Just take a look at literally any other stream, any other channel, and you'll tell within two seconds, whoa, God, I need to upgrade my stuff because I sound like garbage compared to these guys. If you saw Rashida and she wasn't a representative, and again, this is no insult to her as a person. She's a fantastic person. But if you saw this person and she wasn't a congressperson, but she was streaming Fortnite or something, and this was, and she was in like a little camera with Fortnite going around the back and she's playing Fortnite or something. You would be like, oh, this is not a great quality stream. This is terrible. This is terrible garbage. And you look at a really high quality stream. This is night and day difference. That's what I'm saying. Like these guys could invest a little bit of money and really kill it on every show. Every guest show they go on would be the highest quality thing. Uh, I think AOC comes back in here. I love the four screen. It looks like the Brady Bunch, right? So I think they started talking a little round table style at the end. Yeah, you can see them all like up here at the top like the Brady Bunch uh, but someone's obviously focusing the um, the video when this happens but this in the same kind of stream let, let me show you an example here um, who has big streams like Trainwreck does let me see what I can do here let me find something can I find Trainwreck track wrecks can I get him on YouTube I'd rather not go to Twitch. Twitch is so irritating to watch a VOD on. Let me see if he's on YouTube. I think everyone is, but... I just typed in train wrecks. This is going to be bad. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Spelled it right. <laughs> it's on your... Okay, sorry. I, he does a... Uh, a guest show. Oh, political podcast. Okay. I'll let it play a little bit. Oh, Hassan's on it. Okay. Oh, Asman's on it too. Jesus Christ. 
All right, we're gonna um, we'll go to it in just a second, so you can see what the quality looks like. And I bet these guys, uh, yeah, look at this. Look at the difference between this guys. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm not saying you need to copy people and do exactly what someone else does. Don't do that. Have your own flavor to it. But you could tell, as I showed earlier, with the with the folks from the Rising and their screen transition and their sort of side by side style. That's better than bare bones Skype chat screen. This is a terrible screen. The information again is A plus plus plus, and I support all these people indefinitely. But this quality is trash. This quality is garbage. Take a look at this. Look at the difference. Look at the quality and presentation. These guys are uh, video game streamers. They stream Fortnite. Asmund Gold is the most famous WoW streamer in the world. Maybe. Maybe the method guess. No, he's he's probably the most. We're dropping frames again. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I don't know too much about the other guys. I know the name Hassan. These other guys, not too much. Trainwreck hosts these kind of shows. But um, this is a podcast show, and just listen to the quality of some of these guys. Uh, the efficiency of... of uh, women and men co-mingling inside of the... Let me point out some of the equipment here. Top right, the guy that's talking. Blue Yeti microphone. This is a Blue Yeti microphone. Look at how he is speaking into it. The, the military... Look at the difference. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is why these political analysts and these congresswomen need to come chat with myself. Chat with these guys. Chat with Bro Man. Chat with Lupo. Look at how quick they could set this stuff up and you'd be the top player. Listen to the quality of that of that microphone. Military, or even in the public space, or even in positions of government, apparently, which I didn't know you held I, that. I think it's like ten times the quality that you just heard on any of those guys. Listen to Asman. I think Nick's argument mostly is that he is using this mic right here. This mic costs four hundred and ninety nine dollars. It is not. It's an expensive microphone. It's not an expensive microphone when it comes to a congresswoman, or a congressman, or a political candidate. Uh, or a political analyst who have uh, an, uh, a vested interest in protecting their brand and getting their message across. This will come across huge. Just listen to the quality. That the presence of women in these will, <laughs> sure, well, whatever you we got. Ben now you can tell that Nick's here. His mic is trash. He's talking through a, a you know, a headset mic. I don't know why he's doing that. But the rest of the guys, um, this is is called a Spark, I believe. Um, Sargon's talking into an SM, uh, uh, an SM7B, and I don't remember the name of this mic for train wrecks. But they all, I'm sure, second. Let, let me fast forward a little bit when someone else is talking. Advise people to have more children. Um, you know, people offer these massive payouts to people with more children. There were penalties. I mean, it's it's incomparable. Liberty Mutual take the quality 96. is so much higher from a bunch of guys who play video games for a living. <laughs> Come on, man, let's go. Let's get that high quality. Um, you know, uh, 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 effort and that high quality, um, you know, being prideful of your work. Let's go. We could get this up. This is, <laughs> by the way, like 1.8 million people watch this. So the, obviously the information is more important, but holy crap, can we do a lot more for quality? A lot more, a lot more. And it would be fantastic. We need to get somebody in with these guys, get an audio visual expert, get a live streamer or a gaming streamer in with these teams. Someone from Bernie Sanders con, you know, campaign contact this show. You can find me on Twitter. You can DM me or email me or whatever. I will help you. <laughs> I'll make the S's myself for you, please. I can't watch this anymore. Now, now let's take a look at, uh, I want to take a look at two more things here. Ready? Let's get out of this. It's a nurse. Uh uh, again, I love those guys. Their message is fantastic. And please go check each one of those congresswomen out, as well as my man, Bernie Sanders. Let's take a look at Joe Biden. Now, Joe Biden, I give him a lot of crap. He has been MIA this week. I'm not a supporter of Joe Biden. I think he's a terrible candidate. And he is going to um, basically ensure that Donald Trump wins this next time. But that being said, this is his studio now. Now, this isn't bad. He has said... I set it up. They set it up in my living room. He was talking about his audio people or his manager, his handler, whoever set up a whole bunch of tech stuff. He compared his living to a TV set. Now, now that's Joe Biden talking because he's old and doesn't know where the hell he is right now. But just take a listen to the quality. 
See, you get a little oh. taste of what happens whenever. I go back to my man there. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Now, obviously, this is a gaff reel, but uh, just listen. Dealing with the crush, these crush of cases, and uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we have to uh, make sure that we uh, we are in a position. Now, that's granted that's a really biased and bad clip and i i honestly didn't mean for it to be like that i just want to look at the quality in the background again um is this in 720 oh 1080 okay a little bit better a little bit better let's see if we can get a little high quality my screen is right now that? so you're gonna get a little distortion but um let me see if we can play through a little bit and it'll increase no that's gonna be it but l look at the camera quality on joe biden look at the lighting Look at the lighting. We look dim. Is this all? Is we have just uh, these lamps scattered around the room? These old antique lamps is what's lighting him. He's talking about a TV studio. Where's the big, uh, the hood lighting? Where's the photography studio lighting? Let's go. Bring this stuff in. Light up this background. Look how dark this is. I can't see this flag. This is a flag for his son, right? Didn't his son was a serviceman and and died, right? Isn't this a commemorative flag? Get that lit up. Get that. Put that up on the on the shelf behind him. Put that two shelves up. I again, I don't want him to win or look good. I want Bernie to win. But oh my God, who is in charge of these people? Whoever's in charge of their internet branding and imaging is failing. This YouTube Joe Biden is actually pretty decent uh, of a graphic. That's not too bad. Um, and here's the Hills branding. Okay. Uh, this big sign is another <laughs> is it crystal i think that pointed this out is that so that biden was describing this as being something in his living room like oh it's just you know they're putting something up in my living room i'm gonna do some live streams you know something like that <laughs> and then he kind of like they bring in the podium <laughs> it's so weird it's so weird like I, hey guys I, you know just come on into my house this is a casual thing i'm gonna get a little live stream going no big deal we're gonna talk about the coronavirus we're gonna talk about what i'm gonna do in the future we'll get our plan straight hey bring in that podium because i want to preach to people <laughs> who would think that's a good idea Be in my living room i have a random podium there this is like he's gonna broadcast from his bathroom he's got the podium in the bathroom <laughs> it's, so, it's so ridiculous come on man but the lighting is bad. I actually like his background. This is why I like Sagar's background as well. Um, you know, sort of inadvertently, not necessarily that this is the the what they're going for, but it, it, a, a bookshelf full of books and pictures lends a sense of branding to you, right? So you could tell, if you were to look right away at Joe Biden's picture, how would he be branded? You could see um, someone in his family is obviously a serviceman or a woman. Um, he's got many books in the background. You could assume maybe he's read some of these books. He's got a football back there. He's got some flag stuff in the background. He loves America. He's got an old ass lamp. So, you know, he's an old guy. He's, I think that's a clock. <laughs> Is this a clock? Analog clock. Um, but yeah, he's got books and pictures and this, so he loves his memories and he's successful or that, that's the kind of, uh, that's the opinion I got. This huge ass placard at the bottom is ridiculous. Get this stupid thing out of there. If you saw what Bernie had at the bottom of his, he's got that ticker. You see what uh, the rising folks had on theirs? They got that little branding overlay on the side. Bring in some actual graphic here. We don't need this huge honking thing at the bottom of the screen. This is the internet. Okay. We need to catch up. Okay. We're still, this is like we're on the debate stage, but now we just, it almost looks like he's on stage at the debate, but they just moved in or like they rolled down a picture on a curtain behind them. And that's the take there. It's a, oh, look, we're in the living room now. That's what it looks like. Anyways, his uh, audio is, aside from the fact that he's stumbling over his words because I don't think he's all together. The president must use the Defense Production Act. So okay. <laughs> the reaction is hilarious. But um, listen to it. The president must use the Defense Production Act. Damn it. I'm not going back far enough. Hang on. That we, uh, we are in a position that we are, well, let me, let me go to the second thing. I've spoken enough of that. So I don't know if you guys can hear it. I want to play that piece again. I think they actually do have noise gating on for Joe, which is a step. I think that they have a noise floor, and when Joe breaks it, uh, the, so that okay, okay. So with noise gating, basically a volume in dB has to break the floor. If it breaks the floor, the mic opens and you can speak into it. This has that. 
if I'm quiet here for a minute, you'll hear nothing. And the closer I get, you'll hear this noise. Right, let me see here. So you kind of hear that as it got closer because the DB is too low on that to hear. It's not breaking the floor from a certain distance away. And because it's a shotgun mic, it has to be like directly in line, but that's a whole other complicated issue. But I think they have a noise floor here because when he starts speaking, I can hear a lot of white static noise in the background like he's in an empty room, like people are being quiet and you can hear equipment running in the background or something like that. They need a, a they need basically compression and, and other stuff on his audio here because all they have is a noise gate and it sounds bad when he starts talking. I can think. I've spoken of it. The president must use the Defense Production Act. Uh, See, you get a little taste of... <laughs> the show's awesome. Watch this show. Um, that's Joe Biden. Now, let me show you my great delight today when going to Bernie Sanders' live stream. My great pleasure was seeing this. What do you think is different? In the last video, in the last video, Bernie Sanders was sitting in front of a what? Can I just bring it back up? I think I just bring it back up. Hang on a second. I think his AOC one is like his I second most. Oh, AOC's on his freaking welcome video? Okay. Uh, uh, AOC endorses Bernie Sanders. Oh, here we go. Okay, two days ago with Omar and, uh, and Rashida and AOC. Hang on. Okay, look. Two days ago. Look at this. Two days, man. Per child. You want to talk about moving quickly to keep up with the uh, technolo uh, technological times in terms of streaming. Look at his background here. White walls, bear, two flags. That's it. Look at his now. They brought the camera out a little bit. He's not as close. Lighting is actually a little better, but there's... <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, it's more overhead now. You can see the papers on his desk, which I actually like a little more, uh, in that uh, it shows, like, you know, I'm a working guy. I got all the stuff I'm studying, like all this kind of stuff. That's obviously some notes and things, which is fine. I mean, that's all live streaming. But actually, I thought maybe the uh, logo had changed too. Um, the banners look the same. He doesn't have his big live from so and so area at the bottom. I think they're trying to bring in more of a feel of sort of authenticity. But the lighting looks really good here. It looks like more. He got. I bet you got two studio lights and put them up. But the, whatever's over his head, you need to turn that down. Yeah, there's almost like a glare on his head but it's casting a shadow down his desk. Just bring these two out. Just bring them out. We don't need the one over top. Have these be bright enough. Put them at 8,000K uh, in terms of temps. Bring them out, and you'll light up the whole background. Have no problem. Um, yeah, I like the desk. I like, his, um, I like his look here. I like the camera being back further. The microphone is still... It's not a... It's not a uh, Lavalier mic. So it's either still here into the camera or it's on a boomstick above them. Now I can't really tell. Um, you can't see any definite shadow here except for the overtop. Look at this shadow right here on the side. So you can tell that overhead light is really overpowering. They need to cut that down, bring it down, put it on his level, light it up that way. Uh, but that's the only one. The rest looks lit up in a decent way. I like it. What's the quality yet? Let's take a look. Up to 720. Man, these guys got to get it up to 2K. This is the, a potential president of the United States. Get this stuff streamed in 4K. It's, but you could do that. I, my machines can do it. I'm, a no, I'm no one. These guys can get it. The bookshelf in the background does look a little thrown together. I get it was two days since the previous video, so if we scroll out a little bit, you'll see the uh, difference. We got the bookshelf now, or the whatever this thing is. 
Um, they obviously bought that and threw it together pretty quick. That looks like the same flag because <laughs> it's the American flag. Uh, but uh, yeah, they obviously wanted to swap out the background. But look what else is back there. You guys see that? What else you see back there? Look at this. What's that back there? Sound panels. Looks like someone on his team went out and bought the exact same sound panels I have. This uh, this pattern looked familiar. This cost ten dollars. Hello. Listen to the dampening. Hello. 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 Better than talking against a white wall. I put. I bought a pack of fifty panels for like one hundred twenty dollars. Bought a piece of hardboard for one dollar and hot glued them to it. Then hung them on my wall. That's how little it took. These guys could put up anything there. They might just wield stuff in or just taped it on the wall, whatever they want to do. You know, it's a presidential race. Um, I do have a critique here on his background. It looks way too formulaic. Like these books are obviously not read by him. There's like three off to each side. Um, it just doesn't look looks like too convenient or something. Maybe you take out the middle two, just have two on the side. So it looks like there's bookshelves surrounding in the middle, put a big like picture uh, or put the logo behind them or something like that. You could even tack it to the, uh, um, like a sticker and put it right on those uh, panels or something like that. I just don't think that's a great look. It looks way too uh, formal, like spill one of the books over. You know you know why? Because Bernie people, what, what did they love about the picture they saw of him at his house? Remember? It was him watching primary results come in. The first thing everyone noticed was closed chair. Bernie Sanders has a closed chair. You know what I'm talking about? Just a chair in your house that you throw all your clothes on, that you're going to wear, you set down your bag or something like that. It's a chair that everybody has has a bunch of crap on it. It made him more relatable, right? Because he looked disheveled, you know? He's been in many interviews where they were saying, uh, you know, someone's like doing him up and he's like, oh, don't mess with my hair. You know what I mean? I, it takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. It's a joke that he uses in a lot of interviews. Um, and then you come to this and you see this is this whole background's very organized and on purpose. You got the Bernie doll back there. Absolutely. On this next stream, get some pictures of his grandkids, his children up there. Maybe some of his his picture with Obama, uh, maybe a picture of FDR, something like that in the background. They can't have this couple of tiny plants and two or three books off to each side. What even are these books here? It's like, like old encyclopedia volumes or something on the left. Yeah, we could definitely do better than this, man. It just doesn't look authentic. So um, it looks like the shelf split is actually right here. So if that's the case, if this is two of the same shelf and they split here, dude, get rid of this one. Toss this one in the garbage. Bring all these books over here into the main one. Pack it up. Get them behind them. Get some more colors behind them. Be perfect. Um, anyways, but look at what they're doing. They're slowly increasing the technology here. Up this resolution 100%. Do not stream to Twitch and then get the VOD and put it on YouTube. Oh my God, don't do that. Don't even do that with YouTube. Don't stream to YouTube. Take the VOD and then put it on Twitch. That's a nightmare. Every single streamer will tell you. As soon as you put the video on there, it is downgraded in terms of resolution for what you can download off of the platform. If I stream in 2K on YouTube right now, and I go to take my past broadcast and download it so that I can play with it or make clips, those come out to me at 720. I stream to you, to YouTube at 1440. Do you think I want resolution reduced by half? <laughs> no, I do not. That's why when you're recording and when you're live streaming, you record at the same time. While you're streaming, you record at the same time so you get the same quality. Then you can play with it. You got that local copy. It's a tip. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty solid. His camera needs an upgrade. I wanted much more, frankly. I there, there's uh, if if they're streaming in 720, this is not a webcam. They're using some kind of camera. I would bet it's something like uh, uh, Sauger has and like a, a mirrorless DSLR is plugged into a computer or something. Um, but uh, let's not skimp on the camera, boys. This is the next president of the United States. Let's go get us a, uh, you know, uh, a um, 
What's the new? You could even get a GoPro Hero 7 or something like that. Stream that in 4K. You can get a Sony A6500 like I have here. I have a 6300, but you can get the 6500 uh, for a higher price. But I mean, at this, it's there's no price that would matter to for him to become present. It's the most important thing. Um, but uh, you could get all this equipment for under, I mean, for Bernie Sanders, is $5,000 too much to ask? I'm not saying that Bernie Sanders is some loaded millionaire. I think he's worth like $2 million and he's 78. I mean, it's, it's a lot of people are trying to hit him on that. Look at this millionaire or something like that. It's ridiculous for someone of his age uh, that's been working for this long and in Congress for this long. It's, it's ridiculous to, to think to even, to even compare him to someone like Mike Bloomberg. But um, $5,000 to increase your, uh, your image and your brand and, um, you know how they always say in school, you know, you put in more effort. It shows that you care and things like that. Put some effort into this. I'm, he's doing a great job of streaming. The message is on point. He's streaming at the right volume stream like two, three times a week to every single platform that exists. He's doing a fantastic job. We got to have the technology that meets that uh, drive that he has because this ain't cutting it. 720 stream is nonsense for the, a presidential candidate. Now, I'm not saying that um, AOC and Tlaib and all that stuff when they join the show, I'm not going to hit them too much on you got to be streaming in 4K kind of stuff because then you got a lot of problems in terms of connecting with the uh, with the people that are actually broadcasting it. But Bernie Sanders, the uh, you know the assumption is they are broadcasting from his location, so he should be streaming in 100% the highest quality that he can stream in. 720 is a joke. YouTube downscales it. It's uh, don't stream on Twitch if that's what you want to do or. Um, How would you do it with Twitch? The only way you can hit that platform is if you're streaming 20 because Twitch is terrible. At least go to 1440 or 1080, 60. Okay, at least get to that quality and get a camera that's 4K because it's it's uh, it's unforgivable that you're streaming this low quality. Um, but yeah, so you know, it's sort of wrapping up here. The moral of this talk has been. If you are a politician that may be the next president of the United States, if you are a congresswoman, if you are a political analyst, if you are even a worker who is in a remote situation working from home now and you see your video conferences and your teleconferences starting to pick up, these are all things you can do to improve your own setup. I call into my conferences with this microphone, with not with that camera, but this camera right here. This camera is $150, decent investment if you want to have a good quality for your video chats or for your work chats. Um, 100% it's worth it if you are someone who is mindful of your image and your branding online, like an analyst, like the host of a talk show, like the next president of the United States, like uh, the congresswoman that we saw a little bit earlier. Uh, it's an unbelievably, um, it's almost a necessity. You can't be streaming off a webcam, uh, built in webcam on a laptop. That's embarrassing. You, I would, I would rather uh, AOC stream from her cell phone. Because uh, her cell phone is more than likely something like an iPhone 11 or whatever. And those things are almost, are they 4K by themselves? They might be. Anyways, I was very happy to see these sound panels here. It was pretty awesome. Uh, I think that, uh, who's on? Oh, Pramila. Okay. Uh, but you can see the same deal here. I mean, it's probably the same thing. I don't even have to hear it. To, to know what it's going to sound like, the echoey in the background. Let's let's take a listen. Tree, and it is, but I will tell you, it's still in. By the way, you can hear that static in the background because the gain's too high. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think they they bring in someone else. Who else they got on here? I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. Doctor, uh, former epidemic intelligence service officer and we see that the uh, so i'm talking about that oh, god now now this guy is a doctor okay he's not someone that's gonna be live streaming all the time he's not gonna be guests on shows every single day like some of the congress uh, uh people are bernie or anything like that but so he has he gets a little bit of a pass here but when we start talking to streamers who are new um oh wait are they gonna go to that view where they all come in again because if that's the Skype screen again, I'm going to die. Hang on a second. Let me just make sure that didn't actually happen. Look at Bernie with his computer up here. Here we go. 
Apple man. Uh, were they going to have any income? And we're going to see, I, I'm sure, a spike. Yeah, he needs a noise floor. Like uh, Joe Biden had a pretty good noise floor in his, so he sounded like not in a wind tunnel. Uh, you just need to block out that extra sound and only have his voice pick up here. Um, but at least they got rid of the Skype screen. <laughs> That's fantastic news. <laughs> Can't have that, man. Make an overlay. Costs almost nothing. You make one yourself. Um, so, so, yeah. So, the moral of the story is if you want to increase your stuff, grab, go grab yourself a webcam. Uh, 1080 at least. You can get a C920, which will stream in, I believe it's 1080. A C920, Logitech C920, costs $50. $45 maybe. $50 right now. Uh, Logitech C920. Or if you want to take a step up to 4K, Logitech Brio. This is what's called B-R-I-O. Logitech Brio will cost you $175, $150. Plug and play, USB, no problem. Every single software will pick it up. Skype will pick it up. Discord, everybody. It'll be 100% plug and play. A quality increase far beyond what we've seen from some of the laptop built-in webcams. Uh, in terms of microphones, this one is what I would suggest for almost every single person that is considering doing a live broadcast. Um, this is a Shure SM7B. Um, this microphone retails for, I think, about $450, $499. If you are someone that is a uh, full-time streamer or... If you uh, are a political talk show host, political analyst, if you are Bernie Sanders, although he might be so far beyond this and have boom mics and stuff coming in, um, AOC, any of these people, get this microphone. It comes. You can get a stand for it. You can put it on an arm like I have. You can even get a. Um, you can go to Guitar Center or a music store and get one of those stand on the ground stands and just slide it right on that. Have it in front of you while you talk. It is 100% worth the upgrade. If this is a little too much, go get yourself a Blue Yeti or a Yeti Pro. They are at um, Best Buy for sure, but you can order them on Amazon, of course. Uh, you can get them from Newegg or Micro Center or Fry's or whatever. Um, those mics are running about, I bet, $150 to $200. You can get almost a side grade, but what I consider a step up in quality from a Blue Yeti is Audio Technica AT2020 USB. Audio Technica AT, that's what AT stands for, AT2020 USB. Um, those are, as the name might tell you, USB pluggable microphones. They'll come right in, sound great. It's a fantastic microphone. You can get a, a AT2035, that's an XLR version. XLR just means it plugs into a mixer <clears throat> or some kind of amp uh, uh, connection that you would need, like a Scarlett or something like that. Um, it'll be worth it. You don't need the big honking mixer like I have. You can get small ones. You can get um, just a uh, 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 small, like a, it's called a Scarlet. Um, I forget the exact name, but if you look up Scarlet Mixer, you'll find it's a small guy, just one plug and you're done. Then USB comes out the other side. Um, it will increase your voice by 10,000% compared to a laptop microphone. Please, God, don't use your laptop built-in microphone. It sounds like garbage. <laughs> I'm so happy that uh, Chris and Sager have uh, have uh, Yetis, is what it looks like to me. Uh, and they sound great. Bernie sounds pretty good too, but he probably has something built in. But those uh, ladies calling in on their laptops are no good. Get a better setup at home. It'll cost you almost nothing. And it'll, I, honestly, it'll go a long way in terms of show production. It'll go a long way in terms of getting your message across because people won't be focused on kind of a crappy sound or crappy video. Get some of these things solved. They're super easy. A lot of these things, you can get a combined uh, webcam and microphone for less than $500. You can pick it up today, have it installed, go live tomorrow with the new stuff. Uh, lighting is obviously very important. I got a set of lights here that I'm happy to share with anyone uh, that wants the info. They're $150 for a set of two. And they are LED flat panel lights. They hook to your desk. Um, very, very low footprint in terms of space in your office. And uh, the controllable with a remote. Change color, you can change brightness at the any anytime I want. Get some lighting. You can get big studio lights with the hoods on them and the uh, diffusers or whatever it's called, the cloth that goes over top to kind of mute the white. Uh, for $60, you can get a set of two. But get two. Don't ever just get one light. One light source is terrible. It won't light up the background. Um, you'll get shadows cast and everything. Get two lamps for your studio setup. Green screen is easy enough. You can get roll-up ones 
for about one hundred seventy dollars from um, from Elgato. That's the one I like. Uh, you could also get uh, drop cloth. You can go on uh, Amazon right now, order green screen drop cloth. It'd be about thirteen dollars. It'll be huge. It's like a sheet. You cut cloth on it, you know, to sew and stuff. But you can just hang it from your wall, and it'll do the same exact effect as a roll up green screen. You'll save yourself about one hundred fifty dollars. Um. There's a lot more to audio. You can get into mixers. You can get into noise compression stuff like I have in here. This right here that you might not be able to see. You can see the edge of it. This is a 12U rack where I have my stream machine and my gaming machine on top of each other in there. They're in 4U chassis. Um, but those are the main things. These guys, and I, I'm really looking at the politicians that are coming on shows like um, like Rising or like... Um, like uh, you know CNN guest spots or um, you know on the Fox News or something like that they're coming in remote from their location or from their home office get that studio set up get a better camera get a better microphone I guarantee you'll be invited back more often you'll reach your audience better your message will be clearer every single live broadcaster on Twitch YouTube Mixer Facebook Periscope uh, (laughs) DLive any of these sites knows that fact increase that technical quality it will come across in in big numbers now that that is separate advice that i would give the streamer community when streamers are asking hey how do i grow my channel um technical quality maybe is not your first pursuit however if you have a job like as a politician or a political analyst or something like that where that's already secured you need to supplement and increase the quality of your show and the quality of your branding and your image and your message these technical investments can absolutely do that for you. I said it at the beginning of the show. I said it on Twitter. I'm going to say it one more time. Contact myself on Twitter. Moshkutis on Twitter. Contact me on here. Send me a message. Leave it in the comments. Um, hit my email. Not even just me. Harris Heller. Um, someone like Bro Man. Best Bro Man. Um, Someone like even Dr. Lupo, who's mostly a gaming streamer, but he's he's into politics and charities and all that kind of stuff. Any of these guys, I, I guarantee any streamer that in the world would be happy to help. Happy to help, especially in the progressive sort of uh, wing of the party, uh, maybe particularly, but are also I'm very happy to help anyone um, that, uh, you know, wants to take part in that sort of information and what that streamer has learned live streaming community has been through this for a decade we've gone through many iterations of technical quality and different equipments and everything there's hundreds of guides online on youtube there's there's streamers that only stream technical stuff look at linus look at linus tech tips um guys like that although he might be retiring or something i'm not sure uh but just reach out happy to help take a couple of minutes no big deal. There doesn't necessarily need to be payments or anything like that. It's just, you know, it, it, it helps everyone if we can raise the technical bare minimum to be a congressperson or to be a political analyst or to be in that field. We're trying to adjoin like a generations together, right? Like the youth vote's got to come up and, you know, maybe some small thing we can do is increase the technical prowess of some of those politicians that we want the youth people to be voting for. Some of the uh, political pundits and the and the analysts and the talk show hosts that we want them to be communicating with. This kind of small investment will help in so many different ways. It's silly to not make it. That's the end of my long spiel. Thank you so much for listening. I'm going to transfer over to a different part of my show where we play horrifying games that um, that are somehow stupid hard. <laughs> um, I'm going to get a drink. Uh, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. I am happy to chat tech stuff for the whole rest of the show.